Thank you for tuning in, Mr. Mitsubishi here. Today in this video, we'll talk about charging. How do you exactly charge the Outlander PHEV? And uh, there are multiple ways how to do it. We can also talk about how long does it take to charge with uh, each method. This is a very, very common question we hear from our clients. How do I charge it? How long is it gonna take me? So there we go. So the charging methods are called levels with uh, Mitsubishi and you have three levels, level one, level two, level three charging, and there's an extra bonus charging method. So right now we're gonna check out uh, level one. And level one charging is this uh, uh, charger cable that comes with the vehicle from the factory. Right now, these days, a lot of uh, manufacturers, uh, even Tesla, don't give you the uh, charging cable with you anymore, but Mitsubishi does. And this one here is a portable charger and it's uh, your standard 120 uh, volt uh, household outlet. So you can uh, simply charge it at home with a regular outlet and it takes approximately 16 hours from a complete zero to full charge. So it's nicely attached like this. And let's have a look at the bag. So this bag comes directly from the factory and let's just see how it's looking, what do we have in there. And again, um, this one here is uh, just for your home charger. You plug it in any normal outlet you might have in your garage and that's how the magic is going to happen. It's going to take about 16 hours and it's going to charge it up. So this is how the charger looks. So it's nicely uh, packaged in. And if you have like, you know, it's ready, power or faulty, you have indicators there. So it has Mitsubishi Motors badging there. And the tip that you would insert in a car looks like this. So let's unpackage it and see how it fits in the charging port. So there we go. Nice, beautiful blue lid. and. Uh, Obviously, it's quite simple. So one goes, uh, part goes in the uh, electrical outlet and the other one would go right here. So this one, a bigger one, is for level three. We're gonna talk about it in a bit, but this one is right here. So level one, level two goes right in here, clicked, and you know how you're set up and you're pretty much good to go. So for most people, level one is good enough because most people will take the vehicle in the morning go to school, job sites, whatever they go, run their errands, they come back and then they can charge the vehicle up again. And that even though it takes 16 hours, it might seem like a very long time, but like it works if you're, whenever you're home, you just plug it in and charge it back up. It charges overnight, works like magic. And also if you're preheating the cabin and everything else, uh, you can leave the vehicle plugged in and it will take the electricity from the uh, power grid. It won't use the drive battery. so. If you play it out smart like that, you can achieve a lot efficiency with the way how you precondition your battery and everything else. So level one is done. Now let's talk about level two, level three, and then the bonus method on how to charge your PHEV. And now let's talk about the level two charging and level two charging is gonna be 240 volt charging system. And those are those uh, stationary type chargers that are either installed at your home or found in public. In uh, full power, uh, if it's all available to you, it's gonna uh, take about six and a half uh, hours to charge. And typically those wall chargers, they look like something like this. Um, you know, the box installed somewhere in your house or you have those charge point uh, stations everywhere in shopping malls and throughout the city, wherever you go. Now, one thing you have to note with the level one and level two charging that those uh, charging times are contingent on um, you know, the uh, access of the power. So sometimes, even though you might have this uh, level two charger like that over there, but it does not get the full charge. I've seen that many, many times on these public chargers. It looks as if uh, it does the part, but it doesn't really offer you all the power. And then it takes a lot longer. So these times that I'm talking about, it's, uh, you know, uh, subject to full power availability and the, the 240, is gonna uh, charge it up at uh, six and a half hours. Uh, many, many customers who, ho who live in the houses, townhouses, or uh, these days a lot of uh, condos, the new builds especially, have their own power uh, outlets as well. So that's what you're gonna get full charge and uh, it's gonna get done in six and a half hours. So if that's what you're after, uh, there you go. You just plug it in, off you go, and you'll be set in six and a half hours. 
and let's talk about uh, the level three. So we discussed level one, we looked at level two, and now level three is this uh, DC quick charge option. So it's located right here. So we have this regular plug here and then the DC quick charge, we have it right here and that's how it's looking. And it's a unique feature in that regard that it's standard for all Outlander PHEVs. And uh, I don't have it here at the, at the Tri-City Mitsubishi. We don't have that uh, quick charge station. It's uh, fairly rare if you look at the grand scheme of things. These uh, regular chargers are to be found anywhere you go, but these supercharger, fast chargers, DC quick chargers, they're uh, rare. And if you plug it in, it's like your big, uh, big, thick, uh, like, you know, plug like that. And obviously it's uh, designed to absorb a lot of power because in about 38 minutes time, you get 80% of charge. So compared to level one and level two charge, you're giving a lot of power in a very, very short uh, period of time. So that's why uh, uh, those, uh, in, uh, you know, inserts, they look a lot different so that is going to be your level three charging uh you don't want to use them all the time or too often because you know it's uh it is absorbing a lot of energy right away we want to preserve the battery even though it's meant for that it's better to use one or two but this one here you know if you're in a pinch you want a quick boost that's what it gives you the level three dc quick charge and now let's talk about the fourth charging method which is called self charging i've tested it as well and it works in about 90 minutes or so of idling you can charge it uh, from zero complete zero to 80 percent of uh, battery charge so this is great for situations when you use it as a power bank so to speak uh, when you're camping or you need the car to use it from something else because remember you can plug in your household items in the car and just use it as um, as a power bank essentially for like camping lights and all sorts of electronics you can use this car for that reason a lot of people even like it because if the power goes down on your uh, house and whatnot you can still use your outlander to power all your um, you know house essentially but um, so you can also charge this vehicle when you drive as well so you don't have to be just stationary i tested it with stationary but you don't have to be stationary you can drive it and then you charge it and then what a lot of people use it for is let's say you're on a road trip and you're driving two ways on a highway two hours on a highway and you know you're going to be driving the city afterwards so you can drive it uh, on the charge mode on the highway charge it up and then use the ev battery in the city that's where you get most uh, efficiency out of it so now let's see how it works so you have this uh, ev button right here and that once you click it it goes through different battery ev modes so let's see it right here we have the energy flow charge as i'm pressing it let's just leave it on charge and we can see right away the engine kicked in now the vehicle is charging the battery so now um, because we already have this probably would take an hour like you know 40 minutes or so and this would be 80 percent now the battery the engine is charging the battery and this one here is a very very unique uh, outlander feature and again this is standard on all phevs doesn't matter if looking at the base or fully loaded you have this self charge option which again in certain situations can be super super helpful and handy so there we go we just checked out four ways how you can charge and now you know how much time it takes i've tested all those ways to charge myself and they're real legit that's what you're gonna get and that just makes your phv so much better when you know how to charge it and you have the exact time expectations for everything so thank you so much for checking out this video today i hope you liked it and see you next time around